St. George Sinan Berhad is a little-known company owned by Sovereign Wealth Fund, Kazanah National Berhad. Formerly known as the UEM Environment Sinan Berhad, the company has long-term government concession to manage municipal waste in some of the states in Peninsula Malaysia, as well as other types of waste that include medical waste and also industrial waste. More interestingly, there has been talk that Kazanah National Berhad may want to send the company for IPO. I speak to St. George CEO Khalid Bahsun to get the latest on the company's strategy as well as the IPO plans. Mr. Khalid, thank you so much uh, for agreeing to interview with us. The last time I saw you was 18 months ago and things have changed. Now, you have rebranded the company from UEM Environments in Amberhad into Sin Virus in Amberhad. What has changed and what has transformed so far? Well, um, the branding exercise, of course, was following the 100% uh, uh, um, transfer of shares to Kazana National. And um, the changes have really been initially internally, uh, where we have um, improved a lot of the, the uh, facilities in Negris Milan uh, where we own our facility and also uh, in terms of staffing um, we have done a lot of uh, recruitment. Our company has recruited over 120 people in the last 18 months um, so we are looking at an expansion for our company and of course being um, now directly under um, Kazana we are very focused on expanding in all areas of waste management. Now, we understand that in Negri Sembilan, you own one of the largest, if not in the world, the integrated uh, waste management plant. And, uh, could you describe the, the, the facilities there and what is the utilization at the moment? Uh, basically, we have a total of 245 acres now at one site, out of which 145 acres are existing facilities where we have incineration, uh, landfill, uh, solidification, physical chemical treatment and also clinical waste treatment. Uh, the new 100 acres we've acquired, we are looking at building an eco-park uh, with a focus of a centre of excellence and the centre of excellence is actually under construction and will be ready by January 2017. Last year, going to a new venture into a new business where the Prince Astrid of Belgium came and officiated the Clinical Waste Treatment Centre. What has happened since? This is a very exciting uh, time for us in Viro as uh, we introduced the microwave uh, technology into Malaysia. And as of today, we have now nine microwave machines in Malaysia. We are not the only company operating this. Uh, um, some other parties also operate these facilities. And we have basically revol revolutionized the way um, clinical waste is treated. So rather than by incinerating the clinical waste, we now go through the microwave process, which is much cleaner and more env environmentally friendly and slightly cheaper. You acquired a company called Shan Purnam in, in Penang. So what, what is the rationale for acquiring that company and how will that complement the business that you have at the moment? As I said earlier, uh, Synviro is looking to expand in all types of waste management. And um, we have scheduled waste, uh, hazardous waste, we have clinical waste, we have municipal waste. And uh, one piece that was missing from our jigsaw puzzle is uh, e-waste. And Shanpurnam is a, a company, uh, one of the leading companies in Malaysia that recovers um, uh, electronic waste into very into precious metals like uh, aluminium uh, is recovered, uh, platinum, gold, and we feel that this is a very good business for us to be in. Okay, after Shan Purnam, is there any more acquisitions in the pipeline or are you going to focus on organic growth? I think it has to be both. Um, if there is an opportunity for um, a company that can show us um, the key things, the catalysts of growth, they, they, they have very good people and they want to grow and they're very passionate about their business, I think um, we will definitely be interested in such companies. All right. So now you have clinical waste, e-waste, what are the areas of waste that you could possibly look at at the moment? Well, we're very interested in the waste to energy space. Um, we think that uh, waste to energy is, is a big frontier for Malaysia and Malaysia needs to get into waste to energy. Um, in Negris Milan we are actually building the first scheduled waste to energy plant and that will be ready by March next year uh, 2017 and this will be taking a hundred tons of scheduled waste 
and converting it to 3.4 megawatts of electricity export. Mr Khalid, from the latest sustainability report 2014, we saw a very brief financial figures. Revenue has grown by 3%, but net profit 46% jump. What has contributed to such profitability of the sign virus in Aberhad? I think it's really um, much more efficiency uh, and some co uh, cost-cutting exercises. Our efficiency for our plant utilization increased from 70% to around 87%. So that is a very big jump. And that is done due to the fact that we have a very good team who have been doing very well in terms of maintaining and uh, preventive maintenance works at the facility. So it's important to ensure your facilities are run well. Uh, that will bring up your efficiency and hence your profitab profitability. 18 months ago, I talked to you about the pro possible listing and flotation on Bursa Malaysia. Is there any progress or update so far towards this? Well, we're still on target. Um, uh, the target I gave you, I think, was five years right. at that point. I think we're still um, moving towards that direction. Uh, the company is growing very well and our expansion uh, is good. Um, profitability is good. So I think the, all the right uh, things are in place. Uh, we just have to keep on going the way we have with the good team that we have. Okay. And also, in terms of your business, uh, you, you have a government concession as well as the uh, industrial contribution from, from companies. What are the percentage of those in terms of the overall uh, contribution to the revenue? I think uh, in terms of uh, the, the split is roughly uh, on the concession side is probably around 35 to 40 percent right. and the rest is uh, from the uh, private sector. So you are not really reliant on government concession then? Yeah, absolutely not. We are trying to develop our own strengths and uh, of course if there were other waste to energy projects, they may be concessions at that point. So, but at, at this current stage, we're around that range between uh, 60 to 40 percent. With the latest company plans and strategies, Sanvero is on track to deliver commendable results and one day hopefully float on Bursa, Malaysia. Mm -hmm.